Hi Mary, um, this really short video is going to show you the answer to the other two questions. That's how to get rid of a label that's not being used and how to bulk delete messages. Um, here's a label I created just for this little demonstration called get rid of this one, ha ha. If I open it up you'll see there are no emails in that label and if I click on it, these three dots appear just to the right of the label. When I click on the dots here are the things I can do to this label and one of them is remove. So if I click on remove this label, it's going to ask me are you sure you want to do that and I'm going to say yes, go ahead and delete the label and it's gone. The other thing we had left over from Wednesday was how to bulk delete. In my trash folder I have a whole bunch of email messages, many many of them, 57 altogether, and I can delete batches of them the way I do that, you see the little square boxes to the left of the messages here? These allow you to select one or more messages. So I'm going to click on, say I want to delete the first five of these. One, two, three, four, five. I want to delete these five all at once. So I click on the box for the first one. And then I hold down the shift key on my keyboard when I click on the box for the fifth one. So I'm holding down the shift key and I'm going to click on the CAA message here. And you see what happens is all of the intervening ones get selected. The check marks are automatically applied to all of those. I could just as well, let me start over again here. Whoops. Oh, we'll get rid of all of these. I could just as well have clicked on this, this one and then scroll down to the bottom. There are 57 messages in this folder. And again, holding down the shift key, clicking on the last one, it selects all 57. Now in this case, I can delete them forever. Uh, I could also mark them as red. Uh, I don't know what this does. Snooze. There are a bunch of things I can do. I can give them all a label. But you asked about deleting. So there's the trick. You click on the first one. You shift click on the last one in a group. And then you click on delete forever. And when I do that, nothing happens. <laughs> It says it's loading. I guess it's, it's, there we go. So it took a little while to catch. Oh, it didn't delete them all. Well, let's do it again. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the last one. They're all selected. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to delete them forever. And they're really gone. So that's how you select things in a group and do anything with them and you specifically asked about deleting. Certainly much faster than the way you were doing it, which was deleting them one at a time. I hope these help. As usual, if you've got questions, email me back. In any case, I'll see you next Wednesday.